I like thrifting. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I just couldn't help it. Today I was out running errands and soon errands turn into hunting for cheap discount books at places. So um, that's what this is about. I have an insane book haul right there. I got it right there stacked up off camera, ready to share with you. But first, I'm going to share this with me. What have you got for me, Magic Duff Bucket? <laughs> even more Jesus. So by Evil Twin Brewing. It's a very provocative name. Um, it's scary to just go that distance. Even more Jesus. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this as, as, a, as a Catholic school boy, you know. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they mean great things. It's a stout. It's an imperial stout. And there's all kinds of sweetness and stuff inside. But it's Evil Twin Brewing out of uh, Stanford, Connecticut. So, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sample this. It, it smells delicious. It's twelve percent ABV. Twelve percent. So that means I'm gonna be drinking this in shifts. That is awfully dark. Awfully dark. The description on the can said something along the lines of when it's great and it, then it exceeds even that. So even more Jesus, I assume, means it's even even better than you would expect. I, I'm not a spokesperson for evil twins. So don't, you know, so don't. So check it out. I stop off at uh, the Oaklawn Public Library, and then I stop off at uh, Salvation Army. So why don't you just head over there with Past Jeff and see what you see. Maybe there's things in the stacks that you would have bought. I don't know. So out and about, um, just for business, just for business reasons, I decided to stop at my library because they sell books. And... Uh, and get and see what they had and so maybe you come in there with me and, and see what they have So the library is a very small selection. They're usually really well cared for books. I don't know why the library always has such nice books. <clears throat> they're either ex-library or donated to the library, so they're well cared for. But I got a couple, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but uh, I decided to come back to Salvation Army and see what they have. They've kind of reorganized a little bit. It's a little better in there, so let's go check it out and see what they got. Welcome back. How was the ride? Was Jeff rough with y'all? He can be a little impatient in traffic. He yells at other drivers once in a while, too. He's not proud of it. All right, so what did what did past Jeff grab that uh, that this Jeff's and, and forever Jeff's going to be happy with? Well, the very first thing was an ex-library edition of a Sarah Pimborough book, Dead to Her. As you recall, I've read um, Behind Her Eyes, and they say a girl died here once, and then The Hangman's Bride 
in Hark the Herald's Angels Scream, which is was a great novella, short story. So I love Sarah Pimborough. You cannot go wrong with Sarah Pimborough. And for 50 cents for a hardcover first edition, um, you, how can you deny it? I don't know why they decide some books go to the to the donation or sale pile but this one was there and it was only in the library since june of 2020 so who knows how these things work but it worked out for this guy here's something else i got from the library um and i bought it because that's really a cool cover scare tactics by john ferris this is a bona fide first edition not a library book, so obviously someone donated it to the library, and I bought it for 50 cents. So two, bo two books for a buck. Are you going to say no to that? Um, I do have The Fury by John Ferris. When I was a youngin', I tried to read All Heads Turn When the Hunt Goes By, but I didn't get it. It didn't click with me, and I, it's, it was a DNF. But I've grown since then physically so i'm willing to give it a shot for 50 cents that's my risk level known loss infinite returns 50 cents is a known loss and hopefully i'll enjoy the book and it'll give me infinite returns so that was that and then i went to the salvation army and uh i don't know what happened i'd like to think it was because of me that this happened but they reorganized they didn't reorganize they just actually organized <laughs> they've never been organized and they put books on the shelves next to other books so like robin cook um clive cussler they're all arranged they're grouped in some semblance of form i was proud of them i wanted i wanted to say i'm proud of you salvation army this, I'm sorry, did I not say? This is good. This is good. Um, I am I am spoiled. I've tasted greatness. So, but this is, this is the dark dankness that I like. This is so dark, so rich, flavorful. So it's in that, it's in that, um, if there was a Venn diagram of stouts I like where dark and delicious and then, um, carbonated and creamy whatever this is this is over in the in the top tier of stouts in that grouping so not saying it's the top but it's pre it's pretty it's a it's a repeat it's a repeat even more jesus is what i used to yell when i was in church on sundays so so then i went to salvation army um, and I bought this book, even though I saw it there before and I passed on it, but perhaps that retro cover from John Ferris's Scare Tactics inspired me to get Creature by John Saul. Now this is a book club edition, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I just had to get it. It was, it was there and I, you know, it was like two bucks. It's actually two ninety five. I, yeah, they're they're a little silly with the prices, but Creature by John Saul, I'd imagine it's good retro horror. I'm hoping that's how I'm telling myself that it is. It's a 1989 publication, so back before cell phones ruled the world and ruined the world, we had Creature. Eh, then. I saw this baby, Confederacy of Dunces. A great friend of mine recommended this book. She actually lent me a copy, and then I got fired. She was a co-worker of mine, so she had to take her book back. This is what I'm getting at. So I never got to read it. Um, a lot of uh, people who know me and know my sense of humor recommend this book. So there it was at the Salvation Army, and there I was, and there it was, and we kind of started talking. And I said, hey, you want to come home with me? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know you. Do you got any Jesus at home? I said, I have even more Jesus. And I said, all right. And he said, all right. All right. So it's a 
It's a Pulitzer Prize winning book about Ignatius Riley and his and his marvelous madcap adventures in New Orleans. So I like marvelous madcap adventures and I love New Orleans. And John Kennedy Toole, you know, I'd imagine it's that fun Irish humor. So I got it. I got it. I don't know what you know about it, but the Pulitzer Committee thought I should buy it. So here it is. In hardcover, first edition hardcover for two two ninety five. But a book that's bundled in my brain with this book, Confederacy of Dunces, is Infinite Jest. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be great to get a copy of Infinite Jest? And uh, I'm, I've been looking for one because a lot of people have recommended that one with this book. And Infinite Jest sounds crazy. It's about a videotape that makes people laugh till they die and, and the government wants to weaponize it and different groups want to get a hold of it. That's my understanding of it. I've been looking for it with Confederacy, Confederacy of Dunces and here it is. Here it is. Oh, that was annoying. Here it is. Um, it was at the Salvation Army as well. And it came with this free bookmark that says I should give to the University of Michigan. I'm not going to give to the University of Michigan until they give me my doctor degree. They call me Dr. English. If Michigan calls me Dr. English, I'll give to them. Infinite Jest, a novel by David Foster Wallace. And also came with this sticky note. This is like the sticky note edition and there's no nothing written on the sticky note. But this is a thick book, and it's got a lot of words. But uh, my understanding is that this is genius. So I have, to, I have to read it. It's on my TBR pile. It's always been on my TBR pile, even though I've never owned it. So it's on there, um, but now it's on there in a very physical way. This is heavy. Even more Jesus, and I got one more book. One more book um, from this haul, and that is The Ocean at the End of the Lane, a novel by Neil Gaiman. Now, my only interaction with Neil Gaiman was I read Neverwhere. <laughs> I read some of Neverwhere. Then I, I gently put that book down and just stepped away. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It had me for a little bit, and I don't remember why I didn't like it. I was reading a tiny little paperback, you know, like bah, 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 like a child, like a little child with a paperback. Bah, 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 bah. That's how I used to read, and that's maybe why I didn't enjoy many books, because I'd go, bah, 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 bah. and so uh, I didn't finish it. And then I saw this, and I said, you know, I've got American Gods in paperback somewhere around here. I have... Uh, a need to understand and appreciate Neil Gaiman. I have a signature in my Bradbury Fahrenheit 451 from Suntup from Neil Gaiman. I've got to like him. So I saw this. I bought it. Also came with a very patriotic American bookmark. I assume I can't read what it is. Um, but free bookmark in the book. And also, <laughs> deliciously... This book was 95 cents. I paid 95 cents for this book. It's a first printing, first edition. It has these French flaps. That's what they're called. I bet you didn't know that. It has deckled edges and French flaps. And um, I paid 95 cents for it. And I, the receipt was in there because the person does probably what I do. I do this all the time. I use the receipt as a bookmark, usually. And um, it turns out that this person paid six, seventeen, seventeen dollars for this book. Seventeen dollars for this book that I bought for ninety-five cents. That doesn't fill me with confidence. If somebody paid seventeen dollars for the book, and the receipt marks where they stopped reading, and then it's on a shelf in the Salvation Army. But someone likes Neil Gaiman. People keep buying his books. So that's how I'm getting back into the Neil Gaiman game. 
Now watch, Sun Tup is going to announce a Neil Gaiman book, and I'm going to have to eat all kinds of crow. But that's it for this haul. Um, <laughs> this haul and oats. I know, I know I got, like, that short guy's hair from Hall and Oates or Air Supply or Richard Marks, however you want to look. I know I'm getting that style going of Rich, you know, Richard Marks. Hold on to the night. Look it up. And that guy, the short guy from Air Supply, I'm all out of love. Look those up. I torture my daughter with songs from like the 80s with these guys with this like hair. Hall and Oates. I think it's Oates. Daryl Hall and John Oates. I got an Oates head. I think that's the technical medical term for it. Oh, he, he's got Oates head. Um, and I'm not ashamed. You know, this is what, this is what drifting through life does to your head. But that's the haul. I'm glad I got to share with you. I didn't expect to get, you know, seven books today. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six books. Yeah. Two and four, six, all the time. Uh, I didn't expect that, but I got it. And now you got it. So, um, you know, stay cool and stay frosty.